Hey, what's up guys, Adam here. And in this video, we're gonna be doing a unboxing of the iBeam Block L400 Deluxe. And this is from a company called ApeTech. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so first things first, the packaging is very clear. We can definitely see what we're going to be getting with this projector. And on the reverse side, we can see potential uses in the form of images of where we can actually use this projector, whether it be for entertainment, whether it be for work purposes or for presentations. On the reverse of the box, we're greeted with the ApeTech logo and branding. And on the front of the box, we can see an image of what the assembled projector looks like, as well as an image of each of the individual components themselves. Okay, so starting from the top, the very first thing we're going to be greeted with is going to be the Windows 10 tablet. This is going to be the control center of the projector from a software standpoint. Now, I can already see the benefits without going into too much detail, so I'm gonna leave that before the review, but I can already see the benefits of having a full-fledged Windows tablet as opposed to a tablet running Android. Now, of course, it's still a mobile device, so you're not going to be running heavy Windows applications on this tablet, but you're still going to be at a much higher advantage uh, by having a full-blown operating system such as Windows 10 on a tablet, especially if you're going to be using this project in a business environment and you're going to be using dedicated Windows software. So in the box, of course, we're going to be getting the tablet. We're also going to be getting a multilingual instruction guide as well as a warranty card in case anything goes wrong with the tablet itself. At the bottom of the device is where we're going to find the power bank, which is actually going to be able to power the device wirelessly without the need for the DC connection. Now at this point, I'm not exactly sure how long this power bank can actually hold out on this projector since the projector is going to be quite a power hungry device. Uh, but again, I'll be able to find that out during the review stages of me using this product. But again, very handy to have the power bank there because there's going to be certain situations where you're going to need to use the projector and you're not always going to have access to a power outlet. And in the middle box is where you're going to find that all important projector. Now, right off the bat, the projector is very sleek in design, looks very, very nice. It's also very lightweight, it's actually more lightweight than the power bank. Uh, but we'll take a close look at that towards the end of the video. But below that, so we're also going to find a HDMI cable, which is going to be very useful because it means you can connect things like laptops, consoles, TV boxes, satellite boxes, straight from that device to the projector, and you can actually output that source into the projector. Then below that, we're also going to find the power brick, which is not only going to be able to charge the power bank, but it's also going to be able to actually power the projector uh, whilst the power bank is not in use. And then we're also going to be getting our power supply plugs. Now the two that are included, one is going to be for mainstream Europe, and then the other one's going to be for the USA. Now, of course, I live in neither of those. I, I live in the UK, and we have a separate power plug. But don't worry, because if you look very closely, you can see it's a three-pin connector. And of course, three-pin connectors are, are pretty much used by about 98% of desktop PCs. You won't, be, you won't have to worry about trying to search high and low, trying to find a cable to actually get this to be compatible. A standard three-pin connector for your control will work perfectly fine. So taking a closer look at the control center or the tablet, you can actually see that it has a nice looking piano glossy black finish at the front and then has a metallic mat around the outside to match the rest of the theme going on with the modular projector system. On the right hand side is where you're actually going to find two things. You're going to find the power button. You're also going to find a USB port. Now the, the whole idea behind that USB port is that it allows you to go ahead and connect a keyboard because doing a, a large amount of typing, if say you're making an edit to a presentation using the projector, typing a lot of text on a touchscreen keyboard is not that efficient. So it helps to have a an option there so you, you can actually go ahead and connect a standard keyboard and still get the same type of efficiency that you would get if you were typing on a laptop or a desktop computer. On the reverse of the tablet is where you're going to find a micro USB port in case you want to add additional storage or actually import files from the SD card to the projector. The power bank also has this slick metallic finish as well, but what's interesting about this power bank is that it also comes with a USB port, which I'm guessing means you can also probably charge other USB devices such as tablets and other smartphones through this USB port and you're also given a blue LED indicator to tell you how full or how empty the actual power bank is. And the power bank is charged using the same power brick and DC input. Now the projector remains very sleek and simplistic in design. At the front is where we're going to be getting the LED output bulb for the projection. On the right hand side is where we're going to be getting the front end ventilation on the reverse, we're also going to be getting some rear ventilation as well, but we're going to be getting the power the power button, 
We're also going to be getting a headphone or speaker output jack. We're also going to be getting the HDMI input for those HDMI compliant devices. And we're also going to be getting the DC input to actually be able to power the projector without the need for the power bank. On the right hand side is where we're going to find the focusing ring so we can determine the sharpness of the image depending on how far the projector is sitting away from the subject that it's actually projecting against. So even when all of the modules are connected together, the overall device still fits in a very small form factor. And it's going to be really interesting to be able to spend a lot more time with this device. So guys, that's pretty much been the unboxing of the iBeam Block L400. Now, if you're interested in seeing the full review of this product, be sure to go ahead and hit the red subscribe button down below. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you go ahead and allow for notifications. So as soon as the video drops for the full review, you'll be the first to actually be notified when the video is live. And anyway, guys, this has been the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Take care. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next tech video. Bye for now.